artistic skater and growing up in the 80s, a time in which we were allowed to lick the lead paint on our cots, safety gear wasn't high on the list of priorities. However, things have changed and we now know the importance of this and definitely protecting this. Along with equipment, there are a number of techniques I can show you to help keep skaters safe. We were always taught as artistic skaters that your wrists are the most vulnerable part. I think this is because of the momentum. So if you think you fall and you put your arm down, but your body's gonna keep going and then you fall past your wrist. We were taught, as crazy as it sounds, to put your arms in the air. So to always fall on your bum like that. However, I don't wanna start telling new skaters if you feel a wobble, just throw your arms in the air. So let's go over a few ways that you can keep yourself safe. One way I can show you to fall is onto your knee pads. Now you have to bear in mind if you muscle memory falling onto your knee pads and then you don't wear them, that's not gonna end well. A really good example of this is derby skaters. They're always fully kitted up and they do a thing called knee taps. So these knee taps are essentially lunges and I have a lot of respect for derby skaters because this is a serious workout. So what I'm gonna do is fall to one of my knee pads and get up again and then the other one like that. And that really helps because if you feel a wobble, you can go down. I'm wobbling and down. So straight away, it gives you somewhere to bail to that's safe. A good fall will disperse the energy and stop an injury. So my biggest piece of advice is once you feel that you've lost control and you know that moment when you get that hot flip and you know it's gonna happen, accept it and then concentrate on making the fall a safe one. So when I'm telling you to accept the fall, what I mean is don't start shuffling and flapping. So often you'll see skaters do this and then they'll try and get the feet back under themselves. Now, you've probably seen the viral videos, as I have, of people doing this exact thing and this is when they get hurt. So how do you keep yourself safe? I'm skating, I've lost control of my skate. The most important thing to do at this point is to get low. So reach for your knees, reach for your feet, get both feet back on the ground. So if I'm down here and I've still lost control, I'm just gonna plop to the ground, which is fine. And do you see how I've gone to the side? This is really important because you don't wanna go straight down. That tailbone is very unforgiving. Always pick a cheek. Parkour is an amazing example of dispersing energy. They'll jump from somewhere really high and then they'll do a forward roll to disperse the energy. So when you fall on roller skates, it's very similar. Keep the fall going. So if I fall, a bit of slide is really gonna help take that energy out. And most importantly, take the energy away from your limbs and your joints so you don't get hurt. This is my, someone has fallen over directly in front of me and I have to kind of launch myself over them. So what I'm doing here is actually going over a shoulder and this really takes momentum out. And I've done this a few times and people have gone, oh my goodness, are you okay? And I'm like, I'm absolutely fine. Because of the way I've fallen is meant that I haven't hurt myself. I hope this video has helped give you a bit of an insight into falls and always remember, Stay loose, accept it, and get low. I'm Katie, you've been watching Skatey, and I'll see you next time. Bye!